Well, congratulations on the victory today. Six match on beat and run. You're knocking on the European door. I mean, this is the job done, and this is exactly how you want it to be, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we started the season well now. Um, what's that? 32 points in the league now. Last season, we only finished on 39. Each game we go, each game we're going out, giving 100%. Um, didn't manage to keep a clean sheet this week, you know, so we lost that, but we've got another win. We'll just keep going, keep pushing on. Two and two for you. You're looking sort of hard to drop. I know David wants to sort of wrap you in cotton wool sometimes, but it's not really possible when you're on that kind of form. Yeah, um, as a striker, you want to be out there, you want to play, you want to score goals, and that's what I'm doing right now, so hopefully I can keep it going. How good is it to be back and fit and scoring, and how good is it to be a West Ham player right now with the atmosphere the way it is? Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, this season, the chemistry is so good in the squad, and and you can see it on the pitch um, and the craziest thing is we're not playing at our best like you see in the games we're not we're not we ain't got the chemistry still learning to play with each other but we managed to um, just draw, um, get wins basically so things are looking good and looking positive so the fact is we're not at our best and we can be better but all the good sides do that don't they they grind out the wins yeah definitely and this season is our season to do it um, over the last couple of years like, we would have lost these type of games, but this season, we're grinding it out, keep going, keep scoring, and win it. David, a really great victory for you today. 32 points now in 19 matches. You're up to seventh. That unbeaten run of six games continues, and that word we talked about before, momentum, consistency as well that you're looking mm-hmm. for in this team, you've got that in abundance now. We certainly have, and uh, we needed it tonight. Uh, it wasn't our best performance, but uh, as you relatively said, it keeps a, a small run going at the moment. We're showing a bit of growth at the whole club. We're growing in how we play and what we do. I'd like to have played better tonight, but uh, but I'm not disappointed with with taking three points, that's for sure. Well, you've been talking about a new West Ham this season. Mikel Antonio was talking to us before. He said that you haven't even reached top gear, as you say. You're not playing at your best, but the chemistry is so right in the club. How far can you dream this season? Because in a season like no other, anything can happen. Well, I'd like to really dream a lot, but we're also very humble and we, we understand that certainly at West Ham we're not going to start shouting about things too soon because uh, history has shown that sometimes we don't always uh, are able to back that up. I want to be the one who can back it up and I want to be the one who, who does make things look better. And uh, so I'm going step by step. We're making progress. We're, we're picking up some good points. You know, for us to get to this po- levels of points at this time in the season is very good, but... I don't, I don't see that being where I want to be or where I want the players to be. I want us to be competing at the top end. So if we have to do, we have to do that, then we're going to have to keep winning. And sometimes you have to win a little bit ugly. I mean, tonight I thought we won a little bit ugly, but, but we got there. Well, Mikel Antonio keeps producing the goods. He's one of those quality players, a real servant for this club. But I know you're always wary of playing him too much after returning from injury. How important will it be to dip into this transfer market and have some backup for him? Uh, it, it would be important if the right ones were there, but it's only important if, if the players are available and the ones we want. But uh, no, we don't want to we don't want to go and bring people in here who we, we regret doing and, and doesn't help the team. So we'll we'll try and get somebody. If we don't, then we'll we'll find solutions within the squad if we can. Is anyone on the radar? Not at the moment, no. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sam, fighting till the very end for this one. It was a really honourable performance from a side fighting for survival, but given that you haven't taken any points from this one, what's the overriding emotion? Absolutely. I think that that's uh, um, obviously something that we came here to do and uh, follow on from picking up points at Wolves to picking up points here today. I think uh, it's a great effort from the players, but there's those lapsing concentration moments, again at the back, where... We've conceded two goals that we, uh, in fairness, probably could have avoided. One just less than 10 seconds left before the end of the first half. A bit more concentration on um, on dealing with the clearance in the beginning, allowing that going back to the opposition, then, then a cross and a ball back in the box. Enough bodies there to deal with it, an unfortunate goal. And then a really great response at second half came out started playing and passing the ball much better in the first half, got ourselves a great goal and then you have to expect that um, when you're playing uh, a team in the Premier League at home at some stage they're going to put a bit of pressure on you and when that bit of pressure came we um, unfortunately faltered again Uh, so even though we picked it up from there and came fighting back and created a chance or two, particularly Darnells and 
and in the end we, we lost the game because ultimately West Ham's final third play and final ball was better than ours today. Well, you've got goals in Mateus Pereira, three now in two for him. How much of the work now going forward is going to come from the teams that you that what you have at the moment and what you do on the training ground and how much will you be going into this transfer market now? Well, Where seeing, are you looking? I'm what are your it, targets? I think everybody's seen a difference on the training ground, what the players are doing. I think that you know that you know that fact of the matter is that we contain West Ham who are on a good run and uh, and have picked up lots of points recently and and uh, we limited them to very little but that lapse of concentration again so we didn't get in here at half time at nil nil meant that when we got back in the game it could have been Matteo that puts us one nil up and and then we go from there and uh, and that could uh, you know really really upset West Ham and we could end up seeing the game out or you know see where we go but we didn't do that and like I said we just have to get better in concentration in those moments and we certainly got to do what I've been saying ever since I've got here we've got to stop letting goals in we've conceded more goals than anybody else in the Premier League and we are working hard to stop that and uh, I have to continue to work hard to stop that pleased with the way we passed it particularly second half the way we got forward pleased with the goal but, but at the end of the day ultimately our defending has let us down again you discussed with us pre-match that Robert Snodgrass wouldn't be available for this game because of an agreement between yourselves and West Ham. The Premier League are now investigating a possible breach of their regulations. At what point were you, Sam, made aware that Robert wouldn't be able to play in this particular game? Um, I'm not going to answer that. If the Premier League want to know about it, they can contact us privately and we'll tell them. So it's, uh, it's up to the Premier League to let us know what... what and if we've done anything wrong and then I'll answer whatever questions they decide to ask me. Thank you very much, Dan. It's not my big worry at the moment, though, whatever the Premier League do or don't think. Sure. Thank you.